follow me on this. A fully vaccinated President Biden goes outside with a mask on to tell fully vaccinated people that if they go outside, they don't have to wear a mask. Bam! Does that make any sense? Or is that just performative politics? Because it seems like performative politics. There's one thing that people didn't seem to notice, though, that I did when they were doing the play-by-play of Biden coming down the stairs to make this announcement about the CDC guideline change about how people who are fully vaccinated can go outside and uh, gather and do things without a mask on, he he had a little jog moment. It wasn't a long jog moment. I'm going to show you here, but it sure did put him out of breath. Here's Biden. The play-by-play. He's now left the portico. He's got a mask on, they said. And here he goes. Ready for the little jog? Oh, yeah. Whoa, ho, ho. Full cardio workout. And then Biden walks down to the podium, which is just a little ways away from where he is right now. That right there was enough physical activity to get him a little bit out of breath. Uh, Listen to this as Biden takes his mask off now that he's uh, made his point that you should wear a mask when walking to a place to tell people not to wear masks if they're vaccinated. He's a little out of breath. Good afternoon. It's a beautiful afternoon. Next week, I'll be laying out the path ahead to continue our fight against COVID-19 to get us to July 4th. That little jog did him in. This is our target date to get life in America closer to normal. And began to celebrate our independence from the virus together with our friends and our loved ones as we celebrate Independence Day. He's a little out of breath. It's a good thing he didn't sprint the whole way. He might have just taken a nap at the podium when he got there. He also wasn't too big of a fan of NBC's Peter Alexander, who said, hang on a second. You're here to tell us that fully vaccinated people outside don't need to wear masks, but you wore a mask to tell us this. What the hell? And you chose to wear a mask, sir. You chose to wear a mask. You chose to wear a mask as you walked out here. What message were you sending by wearing a mask outside alone? By watching me take it off and not put it back on till I get inside. Yeah, you dog faced pony soldier. (laughs) That's that right there. He'll do it with a smile. But that is a Joe Biden snap. He's like, here's, here's the And you chose to wear a mask, sir. You chose to wear a mask. You chose to wear a mask as you walked out here. What message were you sending by wearing a mask outside alone? By watching me take it off and not put it back on till I get inside. Yeah, but well, why did you not just come out the door like Rocky with a mask off and go, hell yeah, everybody. Hear about the CDC? Boom. Here's what they said. We can go outside. I mean, you could go outside before, but now the CDC is allowing it, allowing it rather. Here's what they are saying. Choosing safer activities. Now, on the right here, right, right, you'll see fully vaccinated people. That is what you're allowed to do according to the CDC if you're fully vaccinated. And on the left over there, unvaccinated people and what you're supposed to do. So fully vaccinated people are clear for one, two, three, four things. Walk, run, or uh, bike outdoors with members of your household. Geez, thanks, CDC. Attend a small outdoor gathering with fully vaccinated family and friends. All right. Attend a small outdoor gathering with fully vaccinated and unvaccinated people. No mask. Okay. Dine in an outdoor restaurant with friends from multiple households. Let's, let's do it, baby. High five. Attend a crowded outdoor event like a live performance parade or sports event. Well, you got the mask back on now. So that's what they give you. They give you four things, no mask. And then one, two, three, four, all of of these, even if you're vaccinated on the right, wear a mask for all of them. If you visit a barber or hair salon, even if you have the vaccination, wear a mask. Going to an uncrowded indoor museum or shopping center. An uncrowded museum sure seems like a dangerous place for a fully vaccinated human being. They say wear a mask. Ride public transport with limited occupancy. Wear a mask. Attend a small indoor gathering full of uh, of fully vaccinated and unvaccinated people from most uh, from multiple households. They got a mask on. It's not exactly what was up here. Attend a small outdoor gathering with fully vaccinated and unvaccinated people. And then down here, attend a small indoor gathering of fully vaccinated and unvaccinated people from multiple households. Oh, if you mix some other households in, put that mask on. Vaccine or not. Go to an indoor movie theater. Attend a full-capacity worship service. Eat at an indoor restaurant or bar. 
participate in an indoor high intensity exercise class. They say, even if you have the vaccine, put that mask on. They only gave us four little smiley faces. That's all we got. Everything else says, put the mask on when you're fully vaccinated. That's ridiculous. And then there was a weird moment where Biden was about to leave the podium. And then he got coaxed back into taking a question about India. And he said, I'm going to get in trouble for this. Who's he going to get in trouble with? Aren't you the president of the United States? <laughs> Who's is Kamala yelling at you? President Harris and I need to ask President Nika, will you make it faster to get for them to get the vaccine? The vaccines we will get soon. India, India. they're suffering. Yeah, India, coming, coming back. I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna just the last question I'll take, and I, I'm really gonna be in trouble. Oh, he's gonna be in trouble. Kamala's gonna let him have it backstage. And even uh, Fox picking up on this. President Biden said he would be in trouble if he continued to take questions from reporters during a rare back and forth with the press Tuesday afternoon. But they told him not to do that after speaking about new federal health guidelines for mask wearing for vaccinated and non-vaccinated individuals. Biden answered a few shouted questions from gathered reporters. I'm sorry. This is the last question I'll take. I'm really going to be in trouble, he says. So what do you think? And most importantly, this CDC movement, everybody's only sharing this part, this top part here of the graphic, which, which makes it looks like, look like fully vaccinated people can do everything without a mask except for the last thing. But this is the whole graphic. The indoor portion, they have fully vaccinated people wearing a mask for all of those things. Do you think that's ridiculous? I do. I mean, they, the, the CDC needs to relax even more than they've done here. And Biden's walk to the podium with the mask on seemed a little performative to me as well. Uh, I'm also curious as to who's going to be mad at him if he answers some questions from reporters since he's the president of the United States of America. What do you think about all this stuff that went down today and specifically the CDC guidelines? Too tight still? Ridiculous? Whatever you think, I want to hear from you. Put your comments below. If you like this video, please hit that share button to get this out to a wider audience. And if you're new around here at facebook.com slash the news junkie, hit that follow button for videos just like this every single day. It's free. You don't just have to go over there, facebook.com slash the news junkie and hit that follow button. Subscribe on YouTube and we'll talk to you again real soon.